is up you guys this is mini superheroes today hey guys jonathan here we've known for the better part of 2022 that at the end of the year we're getting a 500 dollars direct to consumer set from the superheroes line now this could be at marvel or a dc set we don't really know but thanks to a rumor video by brick clicker recently we kind of knocked two things out of the equation, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about what I think the set is ultimately going to be, while also saying what I don't think it's going to be. Now, to cut to the chase, I've been saying for the better part of the year, go back and watch my old videos, that I think we're going to get a No Way Home Ultimate Collector Series set, but let me make the case for why I think that is what the $500 set will be, and why I don't think it will be any of the following options. Let's start with DC. If it is from DC, it's either going to be a UCS-style Arkham Asylum or a UCS Hall of Justice, because really, what else could LEGO DC offer at the $500 price point that could justify this? We've already gotten multi-hundred dollar Batmobiles, so I just can't see it being anything other than one of these. Well, there are reasons why it can't be either of these. Unfortunately, we've really only gotten one minifigure DC set this year, so to think that they would go from a $10 minifig set to a $500 set in one year is honestly kind of, uh, I just can't see that happening. Additionally, there's no hype around a DC property right now. Now, I'm not saying that DC isn't popular, it certainly is, but there's not a movie coming out that has Arkham featured in it, or a video game, or really anything that LEGO could ride the excitement off of, and I just don't see it happening for that reason either. That's not to say that something has to be coming out to hype something up, but think about like the prime of LEGO DC back in like 2015, 2016. At least we were getting tons of DC movies and cartoons coming out back then. Right now, there's really not a ton that this could be hyped off of. And additionally, there's no leaks or rumors pointing toward this, which at this late in the game, we would probably have heard about by now. But, you know, things can be kept pretty secret. Similarly, that's why I also don't think it could be the Hall of Justice, you know, for all the same reasons, but also there's no current Justice League lineup that, you know, is like, I guess, identifiable, right? There's no movie lineup of the Justice League that they could do that would line up with a Hall of Justice. Now, they could do like a Justice League Unlimited Hall of Justice, which could be kind of interesting, or just base it off of the classic Justice League. But again, there's nothing really propping that up right now to demand a $500 set. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm not saying it shouldn't happen. I'm just saying look at LEGO Trends. When they release big, big sets like this, it usually coincides with some kind of anniversary or there's some kind of build up to it. And so far, we just haven't seen anything to indicate that this would be the case here. Now, of course, for Marvel, we do have several possibilities. A UCS Avengers Tower would be amazing, as would a UCS X-Men Mansion. Oh my gosh, that'd be cool. But I think it's going to be a No Way Home set, so let me make my case for all of these and explain. Brick Clicker reported that it's not going to be an Avengers Tower or a Helicarrier, so chances are good that it won't be either one, but... The big thing for me is we already got the Sanctum Sanctorum this year, so I really don't see there being any reason for LEGO Marvel to put out two quote-unquote modular style sets on shelves at the same time when they could just wait till next year to do the Avengers Tower and it would make total sense. That being said, in the MCU, there's also not a current Avengers lineup. We're kind of between lineups, so I'm not sure what they would do unless it would be a throwback set. And there's also not even really an Avengers Tower in the MCU right now. With that being said, though, it is the 10th anniversary of the original Avengers film, which also launched the LEGO Marvel line. So could you imagine if they waited till the 11th hour to do a big $500 10th anniversary set? I could see that happening, but according to Brick Clicker's reporting, it's not going to be this. I think it won't be the X-Men Mansion for similar reasons. A big one, though, is that X-Men 97 is coming out next year, I believe, so wouldn't it make sense for LEGO to wait until the animated X-Men is at its all-time high peak of hype in the modern era to do a big $500 set? Once everybody has that nostalgia again and is watching the show, it would make sense for me for LEGO to just wait a little bit. Now, I think 97 is coming out next year. It may be the following year. I haven't looked. Uh, I probably should have before I hit record, but 
either way, I just think it makes sense for LEGO to wait until that show comes out for maximum hype. And also, this would probably be some sort of a modular, because it makes sense for LEGO to do it that way. And since we already got the Sanctum this year, I think it would make sense for them to wait until next year to do this as the modular, and then maybe the Avengers Tower in 2024. I guess these could really come out in any order, but... The big thing is, we did get the Wolverine mech this year, so LEGO X-Men is back on the menu, and it's definitely a possibility. But if you watch my older videos where I was speculating and talking about rumors, I've been saying all year that I think a UCS-style No Way Home Statue of Liberty set is in the cards. I just refuse to believe that LEGO is stupid to the point that they wouldn't capitalize on this. Every Marvel fan would want this set to get all three Spider-Man and all the villains, and putting them all in a big $500 set, I understand would make some people mad because not everybody can afford this. I do understand that, and I do feel bad, but it's exactly the kind of thing LEGO would do from a capitalistic standpoint, right? Put all the figures that everybody wants in one big set to make everybody save up to get it. It just makes sense to me. So I think that putting this set out in the fall is really Lego's last chance to capitalize on the hype. You know, as the MCU moves forward, No Way Home will just continue to get older and older, so really they need to capitalize on it by the end of this year if they're ever going to do it. Not to mention, No Way Home is coming back into theaters in September of this year, so it's going to get a little resurgence of, you know, hype in the kind of social lexicon, if you will, so it does make sense for them to release it in the fall to capitalize on that last little bump of hype. It's also the thing to think about how many figures would need to come in this. You'd need at least all five villains, all three Spider-Mans, and that gets you to eight figures, but I honestly think that this could have 12 plus figures, which of course makes perfect sense for a $500 set. One other thing to think about is that this could be a giant $500 set, but not be a modular. It's kind of in this weird gray area where, like, yeah, you could put it in a LEGO city depending on the build and the size, but it could just be a big display piece or a big play set, so it kind of falls in this interesting gray area where it wouldn't technically be a second Marvel modular released this year while still being a big minifigure scaled play set. Speaking of minifigures, like I said, I think we would have to get all three Spider-Mans, Green Goblin, Lizard, Doc Ock, Electro. I think they would do Sandman, but have him like with an additional brick build, kind of like they did in the Daily Bugle. And then I think we would also get MJ, Ned, and Doctor Strange in this, because this is everybody that was at the final battle. Now, if they wanted to add some characters that weren't at the final battle, I think they could add J. Jonah Jameson, Wong, and or Aunt May at the end, and kind of make sense of it still. But I think that those figures I listed first are the ones that make the most sense to include here. But of course, guys, this is all just speculation from me. I don't have any rumors that I didn't mention in the video. I don't have any confirmation. I just think that it would be so silly for LEGO to not capitalize on the No Way Home hype while it's still out. And uh, I'd just love to hear what you guys think. Do you think I'm on the money? Do you think there's a set that I didn't even entertain the idea of that could be made? I'd love to hear what you think. So drop a comment down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date as these sets are released. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.